Today, each of the Earth's species is responding to the change in seasons, moving along to the steady rhythm of Earth. But what exactly set that rhythm in motion? Why do we have seasons at all? How did a beautiful moon form? How it all began? In this video, you will be getting all these answers. So let us travel to the dawn of our solar system. More than 4.6 billion years ago, the Milky Way galaxy collided with a nearby dwarf galaxy, Sagittarius. This encounter enhanced the process of star formation in our galaxy. Over time, gravity caused the gases and space dust to come together and with the passing of time, the gravity caused the gases, mainly hydrogen, to fuse in a nuclear reaction to form stars like Sun. During this time, the solar system was a cloud of dust and gas known as the Solar Nebula. After the rise of Sun, cosmic dust lumped together to form particulates and these small particles gradually grew to become planetesimal. Planetesimals continued colliding with smaller particles and other planetesimals, eventually growing to the size of planets such as Earth. A lot of these planets were moving in the same orbit. Around 4.5 billion years ago, an ancient planet known as Theia collided with the Earth, and the debris from this collision eventually led to the formation of our Moon. The impact from the collision slowed the Earth's rotation speed and tilted its axis. And thanks to this tilt in our axis that we witness different seasons in today's Earth. Countless planetesimals, asteroids and icy planets bombarded the Earth. Collisions from these icy bodies likely deposited much of the Earth's water on its surface. Since the planet is in the Goldilocks zone, which is the region where liquid water neither freezes nor evaporates but can remain as a liquid, the water remained at the surface, which many scientists think played a key role in the development of life. Over a period of 200 million years, an ocean atmosphere system was being formed from carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen contained in the planetesimals. Early solar system was a very crowded place. The population of comets and asteroids passing through the inner solar system was very high. Some of these flew into the Earth. On impact, both the crust and the asteroid became plasma in an instant, and the surface was covered with magma. In the center of the so formed crater, a basaltic cone was formed, which created an upflow in the mantle. As the magma cooled and solidified, a crust thinner than the continental crust was formed, which was called the oceanic crust. The surface water flowed into this giant crater and turned into a large ocean. Over time, density stratification took place. The lighter particles moved towards the surface and the denser particles moved towards the center. The surface of the earth cooled and became the crust. However, the molten layers that remained inside became a mantle and the core. The currents of this massive underground ocean of magma caused volcanic activity that released gases. These started the water cycle and led to the creation of atmosphere and the oceans. Since 4.2 billion years ago, a liquid core has been formed at the center of Earth. Convection within the liquid core created a strong magnetic field surrounding the Earth. This geomagnetic field shields the Earth's surface from solar winds and cosmic rays. Our Mother Earth The third planet from Sun and the fifth largest in our solar system was now ready to sustain life.